Hello and welcome back to MAFT UK. Today I'm on the bank of uh, Farlow's. Um, I'm not in the bush, it's predominantly a bushcraft tag. However, you've only got a certain amount of time to get the tag in and I'm conveniently here fishing. So I'm gonna do my tag now. Joining me is Dave. You've Hello. all seen Dave in the other videos, whether we're hammocking or whether we're fishing. Dave has always comes around, always comes along for the ride and enjoys himself. And today he's gonna to get himself a steak cooked by me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the issue, what is the uh, show us your steak tag? Basically, it started by a chap called Hayes Outdoors. A uh, very funny chap, great humor. Um, and he started this series of tags to raise awareness in mental health in men and their, and their lack of communication and stuff like that and, and that's what it's all about and it's just raising awareness so this tag has gone full circle now and even little channels like mine have ended up getting tagged with it so I'm gonna do it so we're gonna sit here cooking a steak talking about those issues yeah they're, they're, it's a serious point and it should be a serious point and you'll see why later on so uh, yeah let's get on with it shall we so having a look at what we've got going on, we've got some steaks, we've got some mushrooms I'm going to stuff, we've got some broccoli stems, and we've got some borsan, borsan? Borsan. Well, it's French cheese with garlic in it. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> yes. And that's what we're having, and we're going to do that here. And there is a pudding to follow, but I'll do the pudding later. sharpened well, the trouble is they were, it was blunt as hell after that fish the point's that fine and it all bent over but they're really sharp out of the packet I mean they're like raised you know hypodermic needle sharp got one of these yeah I'm in a celebration mood now raise your back or do you want pedigree hold on pedigree did you say raise your back <laughs> all of whichever you don't want oh, right. Yeah, you it's your stuff, yeah. I'll have the ring wood. Can we do uh I've got ring on man. We could have had cum ring, couldn't we? Do you got anything remotely sexual on yours? Ped, peddy. Pedo ring. <laughs> <laughs> so here we got ped. We got ped and ring. Pedo ring. Exceptionally refreshing after a Can you open me? <laughs> we, we've just done a, a good little bit with Dave uh, talking about his favourite colour of bait. Yeah, that was a really... I didn't even get what he said at first. Do you often use a brown bait or just throw the pink, the pink bait? Well, it was surely pink bait. I thought, oh, do you ever use a brown bait? Yeah, yeah now and again. So, or do you prefer the pink or the brown? <laughs> That's a, that's a definitely thing. <laughs> and I said there'll be no brown tips here. <laughs> the issue of mental health in men. Why is it such a important discussion? Why is, why is this tag gone round the bushcraft world like a virus? And, and it's pure and simply because it's, you know, everybody's, well not everybody suffers from it, but lots of people suffer from it and they never say anything. They, they never speak about it. They never... Away, away, make awareness of, of the subject and, the, and a lot of men keep keep it in and, it, and they don't discuss anything and they don't say anything it is mental it is mental so and, and the whole purpose of this subject is to raise raise the issue bring it out in the open so men like you 
because he's mental. Yeah. Can, I'm not going to tell you about no, it. No, don't tell me about it. Well, actually, <laughs> no, that's the whole point. You're supposed to talk to me about oh, it. Right, yeah. I think the stakes are too high. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, you must talk about it. Yeah, it is. It is, it is very important. Um, I've, I've got a personal story myself about uh, a lad that we went to Iraq with. Um, I'm not going to mention any names or anything. Um, whilst we was in Iraq, the, the lad was absolutely fine. An excellent soldier, no issues whatsoever. Came home, killed himself. Nobody knew. Whatever he had, whatever problems he had, he, he wouldn't discuss it. He never said anything to anybody. And then he killed himself, and that is just wrong. Now the military, having over the years, um, have got their what they call decompression from post tours. When you come back from a tour, you get going through a phase of called decompression, where you, everything's just bring you back into the normal way of life again, nice and steady and nice and slowly. And then the army have done a really good change from. 1999 to 2007 the difference was was incredible uh, so the, the military are making efforts to bring this stuff out in the open so I'm not going to blame anyone except for the fact that the subject itself is, is still taboo to men and it's not right it's not right so well done Mr. Hayes for bringing this subject out into the open well done for bringing it out for the world to see that there is a serious problem so again, well done Mr. Hayes and uh, cheers to you. Mr. Hayes. Yeah, Mr. Hayes. Mr. Hayes. That is actually quite nice, isn't oh, that's it? That's very refreshing, yeah. Our broccoli stems are doing nice. I've got steak for tea, this is going to ruin it. <laughs> oh, mushrooms are massive, I'm cheesy. Well, you, you can't beat having a cheesy mushroom. Yeah, but you, to get a massive cheesy mushroom in on camera, I think you've done well. My mushrooms are too big. Your mushroom's bigger than mine. Borsan stuffed mushrooms. You got a cheesy gripper. So the last steak that, you, that, that someone did, what was their take on a steak? If that's the right thing. Was it cooking it on a, no, an just, open fire? On an open or? fire, yeah, yeah. Because it's bushcraft, so they, they, they do it on yeah. slabs. There's, there's all sorts. There's people doing them really fancy food, really fancy. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to rest those steaks. Take them off they the heat. They do look uh, tired. I'm just going to rest them. Is that dipping away? Oh, it's all right. It's, uh, I mean, he's, on, he's on the same alarm, so they all sound like ours. That's an awesome little. Uh, Cooker, fire, it's everything in it. Yeah. You know that. That thing. You know I'm a big fan of the. Uh... Well, I do like that. How do you normally have your steaks? Apart from you don't. Right. Yeah, that is one of the issues. Uh, I don't actually eat steak. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I eat for two a lot of the time, so uh, you're gonna, what are you trying to say, Matt? You're, you're going to be eating two steaks. I, I don't like steak. I can't eat the stuff. Um, it's not... One, I can't chew it. And two, I just don't like the taste. No, I would have had you as a... You would think I like steak, wouldn't you? We don't eat a lot of steak, to be honest. I mean, would you have braising steak in it? Like, in a, you know, in a casserole style. You know, it's really soft and... Are you even worse than that? Are you um, like corned beef hash? Oh yeah, I, I can eat corned beef's not really meat, is it? If, if it's bake. in the shape of a dinosaur, I'm, I'm laughing. Shake and bake, maybe. <laughs> Turkey Twizzlers, bring it on. You have to uh, night with your new pillow. How did you find it? I, uh, it was just on my bed. Oh yeah, yeah. But you look quite comfortable with it. Yeah. It absorbs a lot of your dribble. Yeah, much slather. Yeah, you had like a, a torrent. <laughs> I'm not going to try and compete with some of the videos that I've seen with the uh, beautiful spreads and meats that they've done and, and platters and everything else. I can't compete with that. Um, I'm just cooking steaks and mushrooms and that's it. And I'm grateful. Hello, grateful. Pleased to meet you. Meet to please you. Meet to please you. <laughs>
Dat is het jou op, Laura. Ja, kut op mijn leg, Chris. Kut op. Je mogelijk met een puim in een hond laten lachen. Ik kom in en ik ben niet nodig. Ja, dat is even die steen in. Dat is wel eens dat. Dat is iets oud. Ik denk dat het wel is. Ik ben een zaak, Chris. Het is busy. They kick it out with a bit of heat now. Yeah. Big cheesy mushrooms. We're nearly there. We are done. Well, this is all very posh. Hope you're watching, Mrs. C. It's all presented on the board. Oops, apart from that no one. No one saw that. No one saw that. Nothing to see here. Move along, please. I normally like eat off, it, off, a, off a slate. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I have no slates with me today. I can't wait to taste your mushroom. The cheesy one. Best of both. Ladies and gentlemen, show us your steak. Well, there's mine. Which one do you want, left or right? I'll have the, the one closest to me, please. Thank you. Right, there you go. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Can I put some pepper on it? You may. Anyone that knows me knows that I have. Cheers. Pepper on everything. Well done, Mr. Hayes. Dave, as I am a non-steak eater, what's your opinion of that? That steak is absolutely perfect. It's, it is actually really. I mean, look at that. It cuts. And that cheesy mushroom to go with it. Fantastic. I've never had food like this on the bank. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome, mate. Absolutely welcome. Fucking right deal to me, that. I can't believe it's almost uh, criminal. That mushroom. They were fantastic, weren't they? That was fun, I that. Right. Mm. I'm supposed to pass on the tag. I'm not going to. What? I'm not going to tag anybody. Because the subject should be done by anybody and can be done by anybody. And if you want to do this subject, if you want to cover this subject in one of your videos, then do it. So it's an open tag for anybody. Because the subject is very, very important. And yeah, we've had a bit of a laugh and a little bit of a joke and making silly comments and stuff, but we, you know that the the bottom line is, is important. So this is an open tag for anybody who wants to do the video. Um, it's always good to mention the first person, Mr. Hayes, who started the tag in the first place. So until my next video, thank you very much for joining us. Um, it was a success. Uh, Fantastic, I'm still eating. Can't yeah, the, the proof's in the pudding. Dave's chomping pudding. all the way at that. Pudding. Two puddings? I've got, I've got pudding. Pudding? <laughs> We'll do later, and it's going to be apples with custard and uh, crumbs over the top. What crumbs? They're the digestive biscuits crumbled. Cheese board. And actually target them especially. Yeah. Especially after my mate had that 71 pound there, right? I see one on the bank, yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what, they were... Well, obviously, where we that 
when we went on that last trip to France for the catfish lake, you were getting spoiled with some fish and stuff like this all day long. Weren't we? Mm. Uh, We'd see one in the UK no, wall. Are we ruining your bit of filming, for your food filming, talking about catfish? No, absolutely not. No, no, that's just because that's what normally happens, isn't it? <laughs> you sit here and we all talk all night, so that's absolutely as it should be. Well, there we are. That's the end of my tag. Pudding, custard, apple, and crumb, uh, biscuit crumbs on top. And, and your opinion, Dave? Very good. I think the. Uh I think that's made it, personally. Yeah, the Jack Jan, the cinnamon whiskey also gives it a nice little kick. Yeah. It masks the horrible taste of the apples. <laughs> <laughs> Holy joke. I'm really raised by a toast. Be later on mm. when we have tea, dinner, dinner. When we have dinner, well, I'm um, absolutely stuffed. That was that was fantastic, genuinely very nice. Good success, oh. and cheers. Yeah, cheers, everyone. If you're a person that has been affected by anything talked about in this video today, I don't want you to suffer in silence. There are people who are trained to be able to help you and put you in a better place. Don't suffer in silence, speak out.